The Knowing Room by Neil Stannards Part 1, Chapter 1 Awakening For many days there was nothing. Figures moved about and noise flooded in and out, but this activity was not understood. Time slid past the bed, tugging and hovering, then moving on. He heard a noise that seemed close. It was his own breath, moving in and out, like the air from an escape valve. Occasionally his fingers might briefly explore the white sheets, but the action was involuntary. They kept him stable, provided his needs in the way of fluids and care. There was little more to be done. Drugs kept him motionless to give time for healing to take place, both physically and mentally. Perhaps also his small stature played a part in his exhausted sleep. It was the captain's express wishes, orders in fact, that this boy be given the utmost chance of survival and recovery. Staff did their job. They washed him periodically, tended his dressings, wiped his brow and soothed him. The doctors suggested that this young person in the far bed, isolated by a screen, may have information that the captain was keen to obtain. Penicillin had saved him. After the incident in which the patient was involved, the whole city of Berlin seemed to have become quiet. The Germans had taken their last defiant gasp and now defeated and cowed, they had become more keenly interested in day-to-day -day survival, a task of immense proportions. Their city was firmly in the control of the Russian army, a vengeful lot who were bitter and angry. As the cause of the incredible suffering of the Russian nation, the German population remained wary and took great lengths to avoid confrontation or even conversation with their conquerors if it could be managed. <laughs>